So in August 2021, I made a video about how much Starlink costed at that time. Two years have passed and I wanted to give you a very quick update. At that time, it was the Starlink beta. It was the first 100,000 people to have a Starlink dish and a Starlink connection. I paid about 500 euros at the time for that hardware. On top of that, I was also paying about 100 euros. It was 99 euros a month for service as well. Um, I will put the conversions up on screen for sterling and for dollar, but that's how much I was paying for quite a while. Now, I know as well as you do that if you have a fiber connection, you're probably going to get a better, faster connection with lower latency, and you're also going to get a cheaper. Starlink is not for fiber connections. I would pay double what I'm paying for Starlink if it meant I had service where I live currently. Now, one year later, pretty much to the day, on August 25th, 2022, I received this email, and it did come as a bit of a surprise because not many suppliers in any facet will actually... Uh, inform you that they are going to reduce your cost. So it came down 15 euros at the time. It went from 100 euros a month to 85 euros a month. Now I was pretty happy with that. Most products and services these days contact you to let you know that the price is rising, not falling. So this was a nice little surprise. However, fast forward again just to April 2023 and I received another email informing me that Starlink are reducing my cost even further. That is my monthly subscription, down another 20 euros from where it was. So it has gone from 100 to 85 to now 65 a month. Now the question is why? Why is Starlink trying to compete in the marketplace? And I guess that's pretty much what they're trying to do, is compete with the fiber connections out there. Now they are very, very fast. It is a very, very quick service, but the latency is probably never going to match that of a fiber wired connection. However, I do massively appreciate the price drop and the hardware itself has come down um, from 500 euros as well. The actual dish I got at the time was a round dish, so Starling took a loss on that, but it was still 500 euros. And I do think that you can order one now for approximately 450 euros. So it hasn't come down that much, or you can get an older secondhand refurbished one, which is certified for 225 euros. That is the square dish. Now, there's nothing wrong with the square dish. It's just built from a different quality of material. Most people have the square dish. I think the beta testers, the first 100,000 people, plus a few more actually have the round dish still to this day. Now, stay tuned because my next Starlink video is going to be a look at the actual quality of the service two years after getting it. That's from the beta, first 100,000 people to have it, to now where they have so many more customers. So if you are interested in seeing that video, plus all of my other content, please do subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in to this pricing update.